of Collaborator Short on Shorts. I'm one of your hosts, Michelle Nunes, and to my right is cre co-creator of Collaborator, Kevin Jackson. Hello. I'm totally fine being an additional host. That's Addition totally yeah, fine. We're all, we're all yeah. hosts. We're yeah. all co-hosts. We also have filmmaker and executive coordinator at Collaborator, Maria Perry. Hello. And the very funny host and comedian, Brett Ehrlich. Hi. Lots of pressure. Oh, there's a lots of pressure. Just the pressure on me pales in comparison to the central character of the film we're going to review right now. Oh, oh my goodness. Today we're reviewing wow. Thunder Road, written, directed by, and starring Jim Cummings. The film takes us on an entertaining, emotional journey as we watch Officer Arnaud pay homage to his mother and uh, at her funeral via a broken speech and an awkward Bruce Springsteen performance. Filmed all in one impressive 12 minute shot, which is so amazing. Thunder Road, awesome. has, it's gained attention in the film festival circuit this year with 10 wins under its belt including the Special Jury Award for Best Acting at South by Southwest and the Grand Jury Prize for Short Films at Sundance. It also just won the Raps, uh, one of the big award at the Raps wow. ahead of the YouTube space just recently. It is, oh my goodness, what a tour de force. What a weird, engaging, entertaining yeah. and uncomfortable, uncomfortable yeah. film. What did you think about this? I was uncomfortable. Yeah, in what way? Um, it's just cringy. Like it's hard to watch. Yeah. yeah. Did you to the point where you you stopped liking it or? I like I probably paused it four or five times and was like, I guess I have to finish watching this. I have to review it. Yeah. But like it wasn't. If it was just me watching it on my own, I'd have turned it off and not finished it. Why is so? What, wow. what specifically? What's going on in your head? Um. So my dad is, he moonlights as a reverend, so uh, as a teenager, I was the gothist, and I was like, yeah, no, of course I'll come to you to these strangers' funerals. <laughs> like, that's fine, I'll just be like a funeral tourist. And so having been to like dozens at this point, um, the one thing that always makes me most uncomfortable at funerals is when people, no matter how close they are to the deceased, they end up making the funeral about themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I felt like this is what that was in a really awful way. And it always upsets me when other people at the funeral, like their mourning is disrupted by one person's actions. Like you're getting in the way of other people being sad. It doesn't matter how close you are to the dead person, like that's just bad that's poor form at the very least this there was something very real about this right yeah. oh yeah i've seen maybe not a bruce springsteen performance yeah. but similar acts at funerals and it, it's just it's cringy every time you this have a one unique perspective because yeah of that's your true childhood. this one i could turn off though as opposed to other ones where you're just sitting there like yeah oh no i get it I, and not just at funerals at a lot of events a lot of uh you know best man speeches and Maid of honor yeah. speeches where you're just like, wow, you're jealous of her, or like, oh gosh, you hate this person with your soul, or you're you're a very selfish person who is making this about you. Yeah. What about his, the Officer Arnaud, the character's attempt to stay, make it about her? I felt like he struggled. I felt like that was part of the yeah. film was watching him kind of have this ADD reaction when he was trying to process the grief and then try to get back on track to yeah. make it about her. I kept waiting. I don't know why, but the moment he opened his mouth, I kept waiting for this to become this over the top thing. This like, a, you know, kind of uh, a really bad parody, maybe. Mm -hmm. And what was brilliant about this, as far as I'm concerned, and, and it may have had something to do with your level of uncomfortability, is that he never went there, right? Mm -hmm. He never went over the top. I totally, like, the more I watched it, the more I was like, I've seen this guy before. Right? And how awkward he was, and like he was constantly tripping up, and he didn't. I mean, it felt. It, there was only one moment where I was pulled out of it. Where what was, was like, it? Do you remember? Yeah, it was the moment where the he turned to the woman in the front row and it was like, I don't think I can keep going. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that was weird. That was an awkward moment. I just didn't feel like, from an acting perspective, he earned the right to keep going. I felt like they, you know, we're doing this in one take, so yeah. I better just freaking blast through this. That is but, very real. And then he started crying. I couldn't believe when he started crying. You know? I don't know. There was just something, I know I'm not being particularly articulate about this one, but I was just blown away by where he didn't go and where he went as an actor. I identify, like when you said that aspect of it being all one take, mm -hmm. I totally agree with that. Where I'm, I find myself being unable not to notice this is one take. 
Yeah. Like that that definitely hits you over the head. Like, and whenever someone does that in a, in a film, it's like, oh, this is your like good fella shot or your whatever, right, right, right. where you're just gonna do your one long thing, and it's going to be it's going to be impressive at me. Right. Um, but <laughs> I really I I've given the speech. Like I gave the speech at my father's funeral, oh. and and. What I think it is, and Six Feet Under used to do a really great job of this, of being like, there are people in the death business, but people who show up at funerals, that's not, that's their first time. And for a lot of people, it's their first time. And not knowing how to really articulate any of the feelings, or even what this speech is supposed to do. And him starting to, like, access memories and shut himself down. I was like, that's it. That's, I did that. I did that well, exactly. You'd have this weird combination of people... And not weird, weird's the wrong word, but you have this fascinating combination of people at really their most, one of their most vulnerable moments in their lives. And at the same time, a lot of these people who get up to speak at these things are not public speakers. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, like, for anyone sitting at this table, it's probably a little bit easier, right? Because we're used to talking in front of people, right? But if you're not a public speaker, and on top of that, you're in one of the most vulnerable states you can possibly be in, I just thought that he pulled that up. That's what I got from what he did. And that's what made this brilliant for me. Yeah, you know. I also found uh, the ability for the writer to kind of extend the story through the choice of his uniform. I thought that started to tell me about who he was as a character, or even when he referenced his brother and sister not being there. I started to infer the family relationships, which for me, like, it made the whole story more, more context, like more textualized. Right. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. it? Is it? Is it a spoiler to say what he ultimately, where he ultimately arrives? Like, or is it in the title? Um, Thunder Road. Yeah. I mean, we already said it he, in the. Oh, I guess that's yeah. true. Catherine Burns did all the choreography for this, and it was good job, Catherine. Yeah. It was great, and that's a thing where it did get a little outside, a little heightened. Right. And the, a lot of a lot of the other moments are very realistic and and underplayed. Right. And a lesser actor could look at this and ruin it. Yeah. Ruin this. Like That's the true. script for this is not necessarily a great script unless you fully understand what it's going for, every word. And that's why the person who wrote it and directed it. Also acted. Also acted. Yeah. Um, right. What's your rating? Uh, my rating is, I want to say, because of my awareness of, of the fact that it was one shot and that being distracting, in a few moments, it has to be four and a half shorts. I'm going to give it like two and a half shorts, and that's because of the continuous shot. Otherwise, I'd just be like, no, I'm pantsing it. But <laughs> it's really hard to watch. Okay. Okay, your turn. Um, I'm going to give this one four shorts. Um, I think that, you know, the fact that you're very conscious that it's one shot, that it's one take, and that one moment that I mentioned where they, I just felt they totally didn't earn it. And I get why that happened. That's hard, right? You, because you, if you're going to do one take, you have to nail it, yeah. right? There's no stopping. There's no cutting. You can't try it again, right? So I totally get it. But still, from a story perspective and from an audience member perspective, I don't care what you had to go through technically. I just want you to tell a great story. Mm -hmm. So in that moment, they failed. And so for that reason, I'm giving it four shorts. I thought across the board it was solid. Cinematography, acting, storyline, writing. And I actually think that the single shot uh, places me there with them, the way if I was in the funeral home experiencing the funeral with them. So um, for that reason, I actually thought the one shot made it stronger. I'm going to give it five shorts. Wow, wow. unprecedented. <laughs> <laughs> um. Since I can't do the math, you're seeing over my shoulder it's how four. many four, it's four shorts? shorts. Gosh, you're good. He's like a genius. This guy. But what if it's only with shorts? Can you do word problems? No, I like, don't. Instead <laughs> of miles per hour, <laughs> shorts per minute? I don't know. Um, so four shorts total is what we're giving it. What are you giving this Thunder Road as your review? Give us your full thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe, watch the film, of course, in the link below, and we'll see you next time on Show Shorts.